What is going on, everybody? I want to talk to you about the unfortunate balance in Codex Chaos Knights. Now, this book is awesome, and it made a big splash when it came out. But people were jumping to a little bit of conclusions right off the top, including myself. I'm picking, I picked this up because I'm working on a Slanesh army, and usually throwing a knight or something like that into an army is always a nice little ally so that's why i got this that's how i've been approaching reading it i have no interest in running an all chaos knight army but i do own a lot of different chaos armies as far as all the demons and thousand suns so having a chaos knight around could be a pretty cool addition to my collection now the unfortunate balance in this book comes on this page here might of the fallen houses this here means if you have a super heavy detachment and not a super heavy auxiliary detachment, you can become an Iconoclast or an Infernal Household Knight. And if you notice, when you get to the relics, there are not nearly as many relics in this book as there are in the normal Imperial Knight Codex. And I think that's because of balance. Because... When you have these houses, they can affect your damage output greatly. Now, this book does not contain basically any relic weapons as far as guns. Uh, there's one like Laser Destructor, but if you want to up your uh, range damage output, you need to be the Infernal Household, and you can add plus one strength and plus one damage to a gun. Now it's super, super powerful. You do take D3 mortal wounds when you do it. So there's some more balance for you. Uh, it's very, very good though, because a battle cannon that's strength eight or strength nine with uh, D3 plus one damage, pretty sweet. Gatling gun strength seven, flat three damage, pretty sweet. Uh, super, super awesome use for it would be on the Knight Tyrant using that giant conflagration, giant heavy flamer cannon 3d6 auto hits and making it a flat three damage pretty pretty sweet uh, and let's just double check real quick that would be boom, 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 strength eight so it'd be the conflagration cannon in that household you could make it strength eight ap2 flat three damage 3d6 auto hits very nice so the balance i'm talking about is you can't get these unless you have a knight detachment that is not an auxiliary detachment which means the cheapest way to do that is one knight and you still have to take two war dogs now you have to take three super heavy choices to get access to these so if you're looking at allies you can't just plug in one super knight unless you forego using these special rules here which both are very good and unlock stratagems and relics just one relic each but relic so something worth considering and they are very very good depending on what kind of knight you're building so that's one level of balance you got to take three now i would be considering uh probably a melee knight to keep him cheap and then maybe two war dogs with auto cannons and uh <clears throat> those will be kind of the range support for the demon army if i can fit the points in i haven't done the math yet but that would give me that now if i want to get any stra or command points out of this detachment i have to take three full size knights and uh then i'm basically playing a knight army with demon allies and that's not really the goal so that's unfortunate there is no mini uh, bonus to your command points for having war dogs you need to have a minimum of three big knights and then you get plus six command points so just something to think about when you're picking up this book if you want to plug in and play with one knight there are a few interesting things you can do in here the dreadblade rules are really cool but if you think you're getting that plus one damage plus one strength or the plus two move plus one run plus one charge you're going to need three so pick up a box of War Dogs with them, and I'll talk to you soon.